Hey guys, so I have officially started Harry Potter number four, Goblet of Fire, and so far I'm liking it, but the first chapter was really confusing because it was all about the Riddle House, but I'm like really confused about it. So I can't wait to see them get into that more and maybe you'll see, you'll hear more about Voldemort's like background story and stuff, which I'm kind of hoping for. So I can't wait to get into this book more. I'm on chapter four right now and I will continue to update you as I finish chapters in this book. And tomorrow I am watching the Prisoner of Azkaban movie and I'm really excited because that was my favorite book so far. So yeah. Hey guys, so I am now 12 chapters into Goblet of Fire and it's just now starting to kind of get interesting. I was a little bored at first, but now it's like really good and I can't wait to see what happens. And yeah, I have gone through like eight chapters in 24 hours. Okay guys, so I am 16 chapters into the Goblet of Fire and the 16th chapter is like the one called the Goblet of Fire. So it's about the Goblet of Fire. And oh my gosh, it left off on such a cliffhanger, but I have to go to bed now. And I am so upset because it left off with the goblet shooting out Harry's name. And oh my gosh, like what's gonna happen? And he's also not 17, so technically his name's in there illegally. So I'm very confused and I'm like, what the heck? Hey guys, so I am now halfway maybe even more than halfway yeah i think i'm more than halfway through this book i'm going to be starting chapter 21 in the morning um i was trying to do an even number of chapters every day but these chapters are so inconsistent with the page numbers and everything some of them are longer than others so um i've just kind of been listening to it as i go i find with longer books and books with more pages that audiobooks are my favorite method of finishing them um but like the shorter books i definitely read but this is just so good and i feel like the last four books i'm probably just gonna end up listening to on the audiobook but i do read some chapters i don't just listen to audiobook like if I'm in the mood to read a chapter, I will read a chapter, but if I'm totally like busy that day, I will just listen to it whenever I get the chance because I feel like I have more chances to listen to it than read it. Um, so I have been doing a lot of audiobook with this one, but I've read like three or four of the chapters and I want to read the chapter about the Yule Ball because I think that is going to be a really important chapter and I want to read it because I feel like I'll soak it in more if I read it. So yeah, but I'm calling it a night now. I'm gonna continue with reading in the morning. I'm going on a trip this weekend, but I'm still gonna try to read because I want to get this done by Saturday because I always try to get them done in a week or less. Um, and I started it last Saturday, so I'm trying to end it this Saturday. It is currently Wednesday, it's almost Thursday. But yeah, um, we'll see how finishing it by Saturday goes with me going on a trip this weekend. So I'm currently like on a trip and away from my apartment. So I haven't read as much since the last talk, but I am going to start chapter 28 and maybe read 29 before I go to bed. And then tomorrow I'm going home and should be able to finish this book by tomorrow night. As you can see, I do not have very much left, so we will see how that goes. Hello, everybody. So I am very close to finishing Goblet of Fire now. I just finished chapter 33 and Cedric died. Spoilers, you probably already know there's gonna be spoilers, but 
I'm like the only one who's never read Harry Potter, so. But Cedric dies, and then Voldemort came back, and I'm just like, what the heck? And I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen next, so I will keep you posted as I read the last four chapters of this book, and I am gonna finish it today because I really want to start Order of the Phoenix because I heard that book's really, really good. Hello everyone. So I have three chapters of the book left, but I really want to watch the movie. And um, I don't think I'll have any time this week to watch it otherwise. So I'm just going to watch the movie and then I'm going to read the other three chapters after the movie because I feel like the endings of the books are always different than the movie endings. So we're going to watch the movie now. All right, so officially done reading Goblet of Fire, watching the movie, and I did not really like the movie. They left a lot out, and they also just, like, messed up a bunch of stuff. Like, Dobby wasn't even in the movie, and the whole, like, um, spew part with, um, the two elves and the elf, like, justice for the elves thing wasn't even in the movie, and it made me really sad. But I really like this book. I'm excited to read Order of the Phoenix because I've heard that's the best one. So I am done with Goblin Fire.